Human evolution. Charles Darwin, this guy. Evolution is what turned this into this. Oh? This guy, a really smart guy, created the theory of evolution. Here it is. Let me explain. Imagine a horse eating leaves off a tree two million years ago. Here's the horse, here's the tree eating leaves. Horse is eating leaves. Many horses like leaves, so they all compete to get the leaves. Hey, that's my leaf. Compete. This was my tree, jerk. Get your own leaves. They are competing. Hey, that's my leaf. This is a competition. They're competing. A compé, right? You can't own a tree, man. That's it. Bring it on, pony boy. One day, a horse with a longer neck comes along. Look at the neck. It's longer. Move it, shorty. Oh no, he's eating all the leaves. This tall, handsome horse gets more food. The others get hungry. This I called survival of the fittest. The stronger and better survive to have babies. Now imagine. This happens again and 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 again. Look at the neck. Until finally, the short little horse, after thousands and thousands of years, turns into a giraffe. Now imagine a cute little monkey, six million years ago. The smarter monkey got more food. The bigger monkey got more food. The taller monkey got more food. So, smarter, bigger, taller. So, when I said we, humans, were really just tall, smart monkeys. Humans were really just tall, smart monkeys? People were pretty surprised. It took a long time for people to believe it. No way. Humans were tall monkeys? Here is how it happened. Australopithecus. Australopithecus. This person, this right here. This ape, an ape, was your grandmother. Your great 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 lived 1.2 to 4.2 million years ago. That's a long time ago. It looked ape-like, so it looks like an ape, like a gorilla, you know? Walked on two legs, two legs. Had a small brain and used simple tools like twigs. Twigs are like those things you pull off of a tree, like the branches of a tree. The next is Homo habilis. Homo habilis lived 1.5 to 2 million years ago. Walked upright, meaning with its back straight, not like a dog. 
made simple shelters. Shelters are like places to live. Used stones as tools. And ate the meat of dead animals. Here's Homo habilis. Here's the stone tool. Homo ergaster. Homo ergaster lived 1.2 to 1.8 million years ago. Stayed in Africa. Used a two-sided hand axe. A two-sided hand axe? What is that? Well, find out. Try Googling it. Homo erectus. Lived 80,000 to 1.6 million years ago. Looked more similar to modern humans. As tall as modern humans, but stronger. Did not talk. And discovered how to use fire. That's huge. Similar to Homer ergaster, but migrated out of Africa. Migrated is one of our AWL words. It means to move out. Here's Homo erectus, and you can see the fire. Okay? Homo sapiens, Neanderthal, lived 32,000 to 133,000 years ago. 32, three zeros is thousand. 133, three zeros is thousand. So 133,000 and 32,000. Smarter than previous hominids. These things are called hominids, right? These made stone knives, so a knife out of stone. Built shelters for safety and buried their dead. So when somebody died, they felt bad and put them under the ground. Here they are. They do look sort of like us, don't they? Homo sapiens Cro-Magnon lived 10,000 to 100,000 years ago. Again, 10 plus three zeros is 10,000. The three zeros is thousand, 100,000 years ago. Had a bigger brain and was smarter than previous hominids. Invented many tools for hunting and fishing, fighting and making art and music. This person is using something, some kind of tool, to make art, drawing on the wall. What animal do you think that is? What animal do you think that is? Homo sapiens sapiens. Here he is. Right now, the present, the present time, not Christmas present, not birthday present, right now, the present means present time to 10,000 years ago. So, right now, to, to, to 10,000 years ago, they lived, or they live, we live. These are called, these are modern humans, this is us, okay? So, as humans evolved, brain size increased. Look at this. Here's the present time, P, and here's millions of years. So that's two million years, four million years, 10 million years, and 20 million years, and 24 million years ago. Right? And then here is the size of the brain. As humans got evolved, okay, our brain size increased. So look, back here, 24 million years ago, the brain was only 500 cc's. It was very small. Okay? Australopithecus, the ape-like hominid, its brain was the same size as proconsul. Okay? Then Homo habilis, 750 cc's, getting bigger. Homo erectus, 1,000, and today our brains are 1,500 cc's. So, as time started to come closer to today, the brain started getting bigger. Here's Australopithecus, the bone, the skull. Small brain inside there. Homo habilis getting a little bit bigger inside. Homo ergaster. Homo erectus, starting to look more like us. Homo sapiens neanderthal, but you can see these eyes, so big, right? Large teeth. Homo sapien cro-magnon, very similar to us. 
Homo sapiens sapiens, here we are. This is our brain. This is or not our brain, this is our skull. Okay? Our head bones. So thank you for listening. Do you remember what you heard today? Can you say, I know what evolution is? Do you know what evolution is? Do you think you know? Can you try to write it down? Can you write it down? Try it.